This characterizes the way I could sit here and look at a completely blank piece of paper. That's the way I start many projects. So with my system, that's a good start. I'll sit here and say, I'd like to load that in. So I'm putting in an entity called a statement, and that's full of other entities called words. And if I make some mistakes, I can back up a little bit. So I have a, a statement with some entities' words, and I can do some operations on these. I can copy a word. I can say that word like copy after itself. In fact, that pair of words I like to copy after itself, and I can just do this a few times and get a bit of uh, material there. And there are other entities like text. Say after there, I'd like to copy from that entity point to that point, and it'll copy it. Great. Let's make more statements. I'll say copy that statement, and lo and behold, I have another one. Copy that one, another one. I can even copy groups of statements. I can say after that one, copy the group from there to there. And it does. I can look at that and say, hmm, probably goes off the screen. It'd be interesting if I could ask the computer to collapse that, perhaps to show me just the first line of each of those statements. All right, please do that. So it did. This is one aspect of what we'll use over and over again through this presentation, what we call view control, where no matter where in the file we're looking, we can ask it to use any one of a large number of parameters for constructing a view at that point in the file that best suits our need at the time. This one wants us to give an overview of the thing. Let me go to a file that I prepared just after my wife called me and said, on the way home, would you do a little shopping for me? So as soon as she said that, I uh, got my system organized. And made a shopping list. So uh, <laughs> it's got quite a few items on it. And if I want to, I can see that, yes, those are numbers numbered statements, and I can say there are ways I can scan down it, like I can point to 10 and say put it at the top, and I scan up and point to 23, and I got quite a few. And I remember that's about as far as it got when she said, well, call me back when you're ready to go shopping, and I'll tell you the rest of the things. So let me jump back to the head of the list, and I can do things like begin to reorganize it a little bit. Well, I say after bananas, it's more likely that I'll uh, take the carrots there, and so carrots moved right up behind bananas, and aspirin doesn't really belong there. Uh, I think aspirin goes after paper towels in the order. Well, pretty soon I would, uh, I would begin to have a lot of trouble keeping that straight. So let me organize it by saying, uh, just generally produce. So I'll say, well, produce, I'll categorize things. Let me uh, look at it that way, and I'll say, let me move a statement for produce carrots, and I'd like to subcategorize it. So it moved. And there it is. All right, produce, I've got carrots. And I'll move under there also bananas. And in fact, I could move a whole group under there, say oranges and apples also. So I can begin categorizing things like that, and if I looked at the numbers now, I'd find that these, these items fit under there as a subset, and I realize I can categorize quite extensively. I could introduce a new thing under there that was uh, something I just invented, a skinless banana, but I have to go there <laughs> and look at it. So part of our view control, besides this thing we've shown you of showing numbers or not, is also whether we can show you some of these different levels or not. I can say I only want to see two levels, or only one level deep in there. It makes it very nice for studying it. But there's another thing I can do. There's a root I said I have here. So here, I'm afraid I'll need a different picture of the view. <laughs> so here's what I drew with a picture drawing capability here. It's a slight map if I start from work, and here's the route I seem to have to go to to pick up all the materials, and that's my plan for getting home tonight. But if I want to, I can say, the library, what am I supposed to pick up there? I can just point to that, and oh, I see, overdue books and all. Well, there was a statement there with that name on it. Go back. What if I, what am I supposed to pick up the drugstore? Hmm, I see, very interesting. 
All right. Anyway, so we have this feature of structuring our material hierarchically, being able to move around it very well. When we get a hierarchy, such as I can show you here now, I can do things if I want to just say, I'd like to interchange produce and canned materials. Bingo. And they're all numbered rightly if I care to look. Interchanging them very quickly. Cans are going to inter inter get interchanged with produce. They do it and all gets renumbered. So I have ways of studying over, making different views, moving around, going to specified points, and modifying the structure. At the same time, I've seen that I have a repertoire of different entities. My character, knock off that character. Replace the character, make that P. So I have entities of all sorts that I can say I want to do operations on, and this basic structure that I can move over and study and get about very quickly. So that is the essence now. That's the essence of the tool we have. There are a lot of details that I've left out for you.